In this tutorial, you will learn how to create single or infinite shooting stars just like this in just 5 minutes. So how do you do it? The very first step is to create new composition obviously. And the next is to create a solid layer and keep its size just double of your composition. Well, I have kept it 4000 by 4000 pixels. Now search for ball action effect and just drop it on the solid layer. You will notice this great pattern. Actually, it's not great. These are tiny balls. Let me show you. Increase scatter amount to pretty high value, maybe 1000. Here it is. Number of balls or you can say spheres. Let's increase spacing between these, say 9, and reduce ball size to 15. Now, if you play it, there will not be any default animation. So what we do, we create a camera layer. And I'm going to use two node camera right now. Switch to two views horizontal. And let's move this point of interest way beyond your solid. This is because I don't want my camera will get flipped while I am animating its uh, position parameter. Now open its position parameter and let's zoom it out. That is, decrease its Z value. Alright, set a keyframe here. Go to 9 seconds and set Z position value to 0. Now there will be zoom in animation and its speed will depend on the gap between both keyframes and also on the amount you have set for Z position on both keyframes. Well, this is because I have kept my solid layer size pretty big. Time to tweak settings for CC ball action effect. Let's increase ball size to 20, reduce the spacing to 6, and reduce the scatter amount to 700, maybe 750. Okay, now it will have a nice animation. And if you're curious to see how this animation is happening, then switch back to two views and you can see it's uh, just a motion of your camera in Z direction. Very simple. Now, search for and the effect, echo. But before applying it, let's pre-compose these layers. Call it stars. Hit OK. Now apply echo effect. And you can see it's just duplicating each ball. This is because here number of copies is set to 2. Let's increase it to 10. Now it will repeat each ball 10 times, but we will need a tail. So let's decay it by 0.1, that is decay amount should be 0.9 only. But it's too long for now, so reduce echo time to 0.02. Increase number of copies to 30. Well, it has good tail now. Reduce decay amount to 0.85 or 0.87 maybe. Yeah, that's good. Not just enable motion blur for this layer, but still balls are not merging together. I mean, anyone can see little gap between circles. To avoid it, Let's apply Gaussian Blur on this layer and set value to 2 only. This is without blur, with blur, a lot better. Now apply some glow on it. Increase radius to 15 and intensity to 2. Or maybe radius should be 20 and the threshold value should be 75. Well, if you want to add some color on the glow, or want to add some more glow, I have a dedicated tutorial on glow effect, how you can use glow effect very effectively. Please click on the i button or link is given in the description below. Now, it seems tail is too long, 
So let's decrease decay amount to 0.8. Now, if you play it, there will be lots of shooting stars animating nicely. Well, my computer is not so powerful, so I cannot render it in real time right now, but you will get great result. Now, in order to add some good depth, let's apply optics compensation effect. Increase field of view to 50 and check reverse lens. It will add some more depth in your space. Now you can create any title over it or you can use your own creativity. And don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon.